All right, we got team of the season moments, Kingsley Coleman. Let's take a look at him and let's try him out. We're looking at a card that has five star skill moves with a five star weak foot, high medium work rates, and he is 5'11. Current acceleration type is controlled explosive, 96 pace, 90 shooting, 92 passing, 95 dribbling, 80 physical. And we do dive into his in game stats. He looks like he's going to be an all around great winger in this game. But you are definitely drawn to that pace since it is at 96 with 99 acceleration and 93 sprint speed. That right there is going to tell you two things. One, this guy is going to feel really rapid in this game. He's going to be very quick and you can definitely utilize the pace to your advantage. So hopefully in spaces and hopefully when you are taking on defenders. Two, it allows you to focus on upgrading other categories when it does come to this card. That's why the recommended chemistry style for this card is going to be that marksman. Just so you can get some nice upgrades in his shooting, dribbling, and his physical stats. For his dribbling, you get some nice upgrades to his reactions, ball control, and his dribbling. Basically maxing out all three of those stats. With how good his agility and balance stats already are, upgrades to those three stats are just going to make his dribbling feel even better in this game. So hopefully the gameplay is not terrible because I want the full experience of dribbling with this card just so we can see how good he can really be in that department. Along with the dribbling upgrade, obviously you get some nice upgrades to his finishing and his long shots. Obviously with the plus eight to his finishing, it's going to allow this guy to be a lot more consistent. If you kept that 89 and at this stage of the game, it's just not going to cut it. He's going to be really inconsistent, so that's why you need the plus 8 to his finishing. And the plus 8 to his long shots, going to bring it above 90, is going to allow his card to be a threat outside of the box as well. Along with that, after the upgrade to his finishing, combine that with his shot power, both two stats are going to complement very well with each other, and that right there alone is going to allow him to be really, really reliable when it does come to finishing. The 90 attacking positioning too is going to help out his attacking AI, and he should feel really, really smart in this game. And lastly, with the marksman, you get a nice plus eight to a strength, bringing it from 84 all the way up to 92. Hopefully, it comes in clutch with this card. I think I'm going to be dribbling with him a lot. I think anybody who uses this card is going to prioritize his dribbling. So if that strength upgrade can actually help this card, my god, it can actually improve his dribbling as well. Lastly, as a winger, he has some really nice passing stats in 93 short pass, 86 long pass, and 95 vision. Definitely going to allow this guy to be really consistent when it does come to passing. Also, 94 crossing and 97 curb. Definitely able to put those balls inside the box with some nice accuracy. When we do dive into his play styles. He has nine play styles and three play style pluses in the whip pass plus, the rapid plus, and the relentless plus. The whip pass plus, his crosses are going to be very, very good in this game. With the rapid plus, it's going to allow this guy to be even more explosive on the ball. And when you combine this with the quick step play style, this guy is going to be really, really explosive and you can really use it to your advantage. And lastly, with the Relentless Plus, he's just not going to get tired on the pitch. Really, really happy that he at least has the finesse shot play style. This play style right here is going to allow this guy to be really, really clinical when it does come to finishing. Inside the box, even with the 5-star weak foot, it's going to allow him to be a lot more unpredictable. And that's going to give him a big advantage in this game. And since we did buff his long shots, the finesse shot should be effective outside the box. So I'm curious to try that out as well. He's got the ping pass. Going to help out with his driven passes. Flare is definitely going to help him out with his dribbling as a whole. Performs flare animations with texture appropriate. So when defenders are closing in quickly on this player, he can take those quick touches by them. And it's definitely going to help him out in the dribbling department. First touch, obviously going to help out with his ball control. And lastly, with the acrobatic, you can hit some bicycle kicks with them but also going to improve his volleys as a whole. For this review, we will be trying out Kingsley Coleman as our main left forward in a 4-3-2-1, just so I can test him out in wider and in central areas, and just so I can test out his attacking AI as much as possible. So with that being said, Kingsley Coleman has the potential to be a very good card in this game. So let's hop into the gameplay, and let's see how good Coleman can really be. Get Coleman on it. Cut side. Another one. Use that left stick, fantastic. Coleman, great space, great finish. Coleman, great strength. Gets by them, far post, unlucky. Yeah, not gonna go in. Well, oh, unlucky, good save by Allison. I was about to say, well done. He did a little bit more of an angle there and that's definitely in the back of the net. So far though, he's shifty, I like it. Well done, Coleman. That's a goal lasso. If he can hit bangers from out there, my god, this card can be really effective. Obviously, he's not going to do it like every single shot, but if he can be decently consistent from there, it can be a problem. 
Controlled. Part post. Well done. Okay, King's Leon. Finesse. Golasso. Beautiful. I'm looking for. Great space. Great finish. Well done. When he can consistently put himself in those spaces inside the box when the ball is on the right side of the box. Again, can be really, really effective, man. Quick ping. Quick turn with them since he is so agile. The goal every single time. That's little ball in there. Finesse. Ooh, good save by check. Thought I can bang one from outside again. Great little run in there. Get the angle. Finesse. Beautiful. Well done. Nice. Kingsley? Okay, I'll take that. Go, Coleman. In space. They're not going to catch up to you. Far post. Well done. Nice little run there. Far post. Beautiful. Turns back. Near post. Well done. Yes, Coleman. Okay, Coleman. Okay, Coleman. I saw a run inside there. Great little space in there. Quick turn. Well done. You cannot defend that quick turn, man. If you don't physically switch to the nearest defender there, it's unstoppable because the AI cannot react quick enough. All right, this is me just being really, really curious here. I'm going to try him out as a striker since he does got 5-star, five 5-star. Five Usually players that have 5-star, five 5-star five are really good in central positions. Use that pace. Use that pace. Use that pace. Use that pace of yours. Far post. Great unlucky. I was going to say great finish. Well done, Kingsley. Yeah, turn his ass inside out. Well done, Kingsley. Nice. What a finish. That was legit perfection. Nice. A little burst of speed there. Ball inside. Near post. Well done. Near post. Well done. Go. Cool. Beats the keeper. We're all done. Great running behind the back line. Beats the keeper. Thank you very much. All right, now I'm going to swap Coleman back out as a left forward. And now we are really going to focus on his attacking AI. Great little space in there. Lots of wide to Adogi. Let's see where he moves now. So we're wanting him as a left forward right now. Kind of on like that wider area on top of the box. Get into him. Bounce the back. Nice little space in there. Great little space in there. That is perfect. Unlucky with the block, though. Those type of runs are exactly what you want to see out of a left forward, though. In those inside channels, more on the left side of the box, where they can just get into, get in that open space. Great running behind the back line there. Rolasso, too. Look at that shit. But his AI to recognize that space when the center back jumped up a little bit. Really happy with that, guys. Kind of just roaming around there, which is okay. Great little space in there. Nice finish. Well done. Wow. That's a rare miss from him inside the box. Not going to lie. Again, great space though. Just the finishing. The disappointment. Let's bounce it back. Where does Coleman move now? Great little space all white there. That is perfect. Great little space in there. That is perfect. Well done. All right. So in terms of Kingsley Coleman's attacking AI, I'm very happy with it. He comes inside at the right times. He goes out wide at the right times. Makes the right runs in behind the back line. Picks up all the right spaces. You can definitely see the duality that he can do with playing out wide and getting into central positions. That's exactly what you want out of a winger in this game. And Kingsley Coleman's AI is very impressive as a whole. All right, so I think team of the season moments Kingsley Coleman is very impressive in this game. I can definitely say that he is a very good card. There are a lot of good features about him. So let's get right into it. I think the best thing about this card for me has to be his dribbling. I was really impressed with how good it really felt. His Lustig dribbling is extremely responsive. You can really utilize it to give you a big advantage in this game. Specifically inside the box, use it to create a lot of space with this card, which will lead to a lot of chances. Combine that with the 5-star weak foot. It allows you to be a little bit more unpredictable, and it's so, so effective in this game. He doesn't even have the technical play style, but I still did find that his controlled dribbling was still really, really useful. So that right there is another reason why his dribbling is really good in this game. I love this pace. He's really good in space. He's really good when he is attacking defenders. You can use it in two ways, and that's really, really good when it comes to a player's pace. And I do think that is because of the rapid plus play style and the quick step play style. 
these two play styles right here just allow him to be really, really explosive and have that little advantage over defenders in this game. His shooting is actually really, really good as well. For the most part, he was pretty consistent. Yes, at times he was missing some chances, but for the most part, he was pretty reliable. And since he does got the five star weak foot, once again, it allows this guy to be really versatile and really unpredictable when it does come to finishing. And with the boost from the finesse shot playstyle, it's another way you can be effective with this shooting and allows him to be really, really consistent as well. He's even a threat outside the box, as you guys saw in the gameplay. Just another bonus when it does come to this card. In terms of his physical stats, honestly, his strength was okay. I'm not going to say that he was the strongest player in the world. He held his own sometimes, but at times he also did get knocked off the ball pretty easily. So in general, team of the season moments, Kingsley Coleman is a very, very good card in this game. At the time I'm recording this video, his price tag is around 400 to 450,000 coins. That is actually a really, really good value, especially since he does got 5-star skill moves and a 5-star weak foot. Really good at dribbling, consistent finishing, really, really good pace. Everything you need in the good winger is in this Coleman card. And if you guys do have the coins, I actually highly recommend you guys go out and pick up this card. Or at least try him out, because you guys will have a whole lot of fun using this card. And I do think that he'll actually help you guys win a lot of games as well. So with that being said, if you guys did enjoy the video, leave a like. That would be much appreciated. Subscribe for some more EFC content and for some more player reviews. Make sure to follow all the socials in the description. And as always, I'll see you guys in the next one.